<laughs> well, COVID-19 has school districts all over Ohio delaying or even canceling fall sports. But there's another group of hardworking students and coaches who are out there in this August heat practicing their hearts out. We are, of course, talking about marching bands. That's right. And raccoon permit holder and Channel 3 employee <laughs> Carl Bachtel stopped by Cuyahoga Falls High School to see what steps they're taking so that the kids can play safely despite the pandemic. For nearly 100 years, the sound of the marching Tiger Band has echoed throughout Cuyahoga Falls. This city loves their Tiger Band. Alum and band parent Mark Bowers has a son who plays tuba. Like everywhere, coronavirus has brought huge changes. The directors took the full Tiger Band and have broken it into four workable units that have just under about 50 each. The students are spaced further apart and wear masks. In fact, so do their instruments. It sounds strange, but the band's directors have been planning for the unknown. Band director Dustin Harris has to put it all together. It's been a very inconsistent year with many different um, sets of instructions, guidelines, recommendations um, that continue to change. Cuyahoga Falls may be the only Summit County district to split up its band. That frustrates everyone. There's not a lot of time to do, you know, music rehearsal, music testing, the repetition for all of the moving around that the Tiger Band does. Fall band shows have been canceled, but the community may still see and hear the pride of Cuyahoga Falls virtually. We're constantly looking for different things that you know, we would be um, permitted to do. So. Ah, COVID-19, and the band played on. In Cuyahoga Falls, Carl Bachtel, 3 News.